boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So, might look a bit crazy. I haven't got a complete face makeup on, as you may notice, because in this video, as you can see from the title, I am going to be testing out all of the new Glossy Box makeup for March. So, March's Glossy Box was called All Eyes On Me. Often in Glossy Boxes you get kind of like skincare or you get like self-love pampering type things or food as well. You can get food in there. What else? You can get all sorts. And this month it is all about makeup. I have opened it. I have admittedly had a sneak peek because I wasn't actually planning on doing a video about it. However, I thought I haven't done a makeup video in a while. I haven't got any makeup videos planned. So I might as well just make use of the products. So the one thing that I won't be using today, which isn't makeup based is the Seba Med Anti-Aging Q10 Lifting Eye Cream. Um, so yeah, I won't be using that. So we've got the Ico London Black Magic Mascara. I also put everything back in its box because I was like, you know, if I'm gonna be reopening it, I might make it as, might as well make it as authentic as possible. Then I'm gonna take this out of the box because I kind of ruined the box when I opened it. So here we have the Ciate Stamp and Drag Eyeliner. So I've never used one of these and I'm kind of nervous about it because I like my wing very kind of thin and understated. And if I just do this on my hand, it's quite thick. So I don't know how that's gonna pan out. The thing I'm probably most excited about in this glossy box is this sleek highlighter palette. I don't think I'm gonna be using this little brush. Thank you, sleek makeup, but that is insufficient. <laughs> One thing I don't like is it only opens to there. You can't open it anymore, which kind of sucks. So you've got this, which is like, is it a cream highlight? It feels like those lip glosses that you used to get in those like um, makeup phones you used to have when you were a child. I think it's kind of like a cream. Just look at that though. Oh wow. And then the, the rest of them are just powder highlights. They are just... So, I, like, wow, I'm really excited to put that on my face. And then finally, we have the Enco Beauty Long Lasting Lipstick. It kind of gives me like um, MAC vibes, like with that bullet shape. And then this is the color of it. I hope that focused. So, they are all the things I'm gonna be putting on my face. Because I kind of wanted the mascara to be on show, I didn't wanna put lashes on, which meant, for me, no lashes means kind of like a drawn back daily look. If I was ever going out in the evening, typically I would always put lashes on. So that's why I've gone for kind of, I've not gone overboard with the, the face makeup. But I think I'm gonna start with liner because that is what I am most nervous about. I've done a really simple eyeshadow look because if this goes wrong and I have to wipe it all off, I don't wanna have to spend ages redoing my eyeshadow. I'm gonna zoom you in. Okay, let's see how this goes. Maybe I should have like had my eye like looking normally before I stamped it on because now, now it just looks wiggly. Well, this is a great start. 
Let's try the other eye. Yeah. Mmm. This is either not for me or it's gonna take a lot of getting used to. Mm -mm. No. Oh my gosh, this is like a six year old's wing. Mm. I'm just using the pen side. I mean it could be some it could be some people's cup of tea, but I really don't like this applicator. I think it's just way too like hard and bulky. I'm not mad at it. I've just gotta try and make the other side match now. They're not my best. They're definitely not quite matching. I think this one kind of goes up quite a little bit more. I mean I'm not a fan, really. Yeah, not a great start. So while we're zoomed in, we might as well do the mascara. So the Ico London Black Magic Mascara. I wonder what this is gonna be like. Ooh. So it's a pretty average wand, but then it's kind of like curved at the end. I wonder if it's meant to be like that. Let's see what this does. Just wiggling it through my lashes. I mean, I've been going at it for quite a while. I'm not getting major length, I'm not getting major volume, but it is kind of separating my lashes nicely. I think this would look really, really nice for when you just kind of want that no makeup makeup look. Yeah, it's not doing masses. But it's doing enough, I suppose. It's a quite a nice little um, travel size as well. It's quite little. Right, I'm just gonna go, I might as well get off camera and do the rest because I'm just gonna be doing the same thing on these lashes and my bottom lashes that I just that I just did here, so. So I'm not mad at the mascara. I mean, I'm not blown away by any means and it was quite difficult to do the bottom lashes as well. I don't think the wand is great for bottom lashes, but it's okay. Now I'm super excited for this sleek palette. I'm not entirely sure whether they would be better wet. Let's try it dry first. So I think I'm gonna go for this one actually. So this kind of pinky, rosy color. Let's see what this does. Did you see that? The brush touched my skin for like a second and it created that. What? I am shook. Do you know what? I have a sleek eyeshadow palette that I'm not a massive fan of, so I didn't have like massively high hopes for this. But am I going too wild now? Should I just stop while I'm ahead? I'm just gonna really lightly just blend that out so definitely don't need to wet it so this definitely is for the people who like a blinding highlight if you kind of like a subtle sheen this definitely isn't for you I'm shook I'm just gonna put it the rest of the places where I kind of like to be highlighted. Look at that Cupid's bow. Expectations exceeded. That definitely makes up for the whole eyeliner situation. So let's just swatch the lipstick just so we've got an idea of what we are working with. Just excuse the state of my hand, obviously. So that's what we're working with. So it's kind of like an orangey, it's very satin. You know how I feel about packaging, guys. Just give me like five minutes to open this liner. Okay, I just sliced open the packaging with scissors. I'm not actually taking it off properly. So this is the Primark Lip Pencil in the shade Toast. I'm just gonna line my lips real quick.
Okay, now, the moment of truth. <gasps> oh my god, it smells of peaches. Or, or is it apricot? That smells so good. It looks a hell of a lot more pinky than orangey, which means it doesn't quite go with the liner, but we'll, we'll roll with it. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. It's very um, spring-esque. It feels really hydrating as well. Overall, a bit hit and miss. I think the highlighter and the lipstick were definitely a win. The mascara was meh and I just didn't like the stamp of drag. I mean, maybe it's just one of those things where the more I use it, shush. Maybe it's just one of those things where the more I use it, the more I kind of get used to it and then I warm to it, but I think I'll be sticking with, you know, what I already have in my collection. I am just absolutely shook by that highlight though. Absolutely shook. If you do want to purchase a glossy box or get a subscription where you get a box monthly I will leave the website in the description box below and make sure you check it out because it is so so good you get over 50 pounds worth of products for just I think it's something like 10 pounds a month and if you get a code from somebody who's affiliated with them then it's something like six or seven pounds a month, which is just absolutely crazy for 50 pounds of product. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week.